good morning everybody this is me mohit singh today we are going to discussing about phospholipid structure of lipid the first phospholipid to be discovered was phosphatidylcholine it was originally named lecithin after the greek lekithos which means egg yolk phospholipids you guys know it's are a major components of cellular membrane and play a vital role in the communication between extra and intercellular space also phospholipids are lipids that contain group derived from phosphoric acid the most common phospholipids are phosphoglycerides also that is phosphoacylglycerols structurally derived from a glycerol derivative known as a phosphatidic acid now we are going to discuss about the phosphatidic acid and in the formation of the phosphatidic ion phosphatidate okay and that is a phos- phosphatidic acid consists of a glycerol excited by two fatty acid at c1 and the c2 and with one phosphoric acid the group at c3 and it is generally deposited at neutral ph here the phosphatidic acid and phosphatidate is is an ionized form for the esterification of phosphatidic acid at the phosphoric acid group with a low molecular masses alcohol that is generally an amino alcohol give ye phospholipid that is phosphoglycerides this generally have a phosphodiester group in the place of one of the fatty acids of triglyceride that is triacylglycerols here a phospholipid is given these are r and r dash and uh, r double dash is a alkane groups it will be anything so this this gives uh determine the phospholipid scatters okay uh this is a r dash option uh, now we can discuss it later clearly now two of the most common alcohol forming phospholipids are amino alcohol ethanolamine and choline phospholipids that are esters of ethanol uh, or amine that is phosphodiethanolamines are called cephalines while those that are esters of choline that is phosphatidyl cholines are called lecithins so what is lecithin phospholipids that are esters of ethanolamine that is called cephalins and while those that are esters of choline that is called lecithins they are particularly abundant in the cells of plants and animals here the formula of ethanolamine is given you can see it and the cho- choline also given the general structure of a lecithin here ch2 ch2 and plus ch3 thrice is a polar part which is a head portion and the tail portion is a non polar part you guys then the most common fatty acid protein uh, proteins are those derived from palmitic acid that is c5 c15 h31 coh stearic acid 670a H thirty five COH and oleic acid six seventy H thirty three COH. A typical example of lecithin is dipalmitio diphosphatidyl choline. Here is the picture of it, and it is a component of the human lung surfactants that coats the inner surface of the lung membranes. So uh, the functions of the dipalmitio diphosphatidyl choline it is a component of the human lung surfactant and that coats the inner surface of the lung membranes. Here a phospholipid and its head portion and we can see a tail portion here head portion have a phosphate group and a glycerol here. and the fatty as the fatty acyl chain is the this part is the tail portion and this add group forms a hydrophilic region and and uh, the determines the type of phospholipid lipid so the head portion determine the type of the phospholipids okay a phosphate groups and glycerol and fatty acyl chains now let's move on
Phospholipids have a polar hydrophilic head. Uh, we see it later. And phosphate ester group is a head position that is hydrophilic and a non-polar hydrophobic tail that is a hydrophilic tail. The tail part is non-polar also it is a hydrophilic as a result they have good emulsifying and membrane forming properties. So due to a polar hydrophilic head and non-polar hydrophilic tail they have good emulsifying and membrane forming properties. So the cell membranes in living systems contain phospholipids. The phospholipids are arranged in a double layer that is bilayer with their hydrophilic polar head pointing outside. The hydrophilic polar head pointing outside not the point outside head. So and the hydrophobic non-polar tails into the interior of the membrane. Non-polar tails is the interior of the membrane. This arrangement allows the polar head group to interact with the echo surrounding both inside and outside the cell while the non-polar tails remain away from the echo's media. The protein components of the membrane are either embedded bilateral or attached to the either cells of the membrane depending upon their functions. The cell membranes maintain the shape of the cell and protect it. They regulate the fall of materials into the out of the cell by selectively transporting some compounds and keeping out the others. They allow cell-to-cell -cell recognition and contains receptors for many enzymes, hormones, etc. Okay, guys, these are the that's all. We are discussing it. Thanks all for listening my voice. Thank you.